Welcome back, guys. Just wanted to meet you back here in the forest. We're just gonna end it now, because we're, like, really close. And I made you wait long enough. So, immediately head down this way to get yourself a weapon of war. If you desperately need it, you can get it earlier. But I just wait till now, because I don't need it that bad. Yeah, we get credit to music for some reason. Why? Because reasons. Oh, cat, don't do this to me. You're just gonna have to wait. Uh, you can head down and save if you want to, but we're not gonna. Yeah, troll move right there. Anyways, use the Shine Spark device to get up into the pumpkin. And with that, we're in the final area of the game with some sweet Legend of Zelda music going, the dungeon theme. Alright, we can't do anything here yet. So we need the couple items we can find in this place. First off, the map room. We have ourselves the pumpkin. It's a very short dungeon. Alright, with the pumpkin map data acquired, let's see, we want to head down first if I'm correct. No further down? It's been a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We get Game Genie Cheats. You activated the infinite jump cheat. Yay, we can jump forever now. Totally not the space jump in disguise. Alrighty, roll on out, and let's use our new cheats. Head on up. Yeah, not that way yet. We want to head up further and roll on through here. To get the final item of the game. Endgame trash. Break blocks with somersaulting. It really is kind of crap, considering how late you get it. And we're not going to head into the pumpkin just yet, because there's a few items we can get now. The last few items of the game, actually. Besides, we may as well. It's not like there's a whole lot left to do. It's going to take like five minutes to get to the pumpkin. And let's head on to the mansion. And then immediately just head straight to the right. Because that's where we need to go. I guess it's useful for hard mode and backtracking. I don't know. Honestly, it's not that good. Sadly. Alright, just speed on through here. To get an energy tank. Or fear fuel. And that's it. You guys remember that wall in hell? Well, that's the next place we're going. Awesome sauce, I know. I just zip on through here as fast as we can. Yeah, the map room leads to the warp point, which is question mark, even though it says Devil's Deal. Alright, we don't want to go to the forest. We got everything there. Not the pumpkin. Yeah, I was a little too quick. Let's go to hell. Oh yeah, to the left. This place had to be special. So what we need to do is just go straight down. It's like the, sl the slightly faster way. Well, that I mean literally slightly faster. Our destination is just right down here. Thankfully, they were put close to the warp room, so if you've been getting all the items up to this point, getting the few energy tanks you're missing is no big deal. And that's it. It's every energy tank in the game, but we're still missing one more thing back in the mansion. Two things, actually. Thankfully, they're really close to each other, so just like the energy tank, it's only going to take us a moment. Ah, I love the spring ball. If only we'd gotten that earlier. I don't know, a lot of these games would be a lot quicker and better with the spring ball, but I guess that makes it more rewarding to get. At the same time, it's such a good thing. And it's into the castle we go. Yeah, this one's a little bit of a trek, but it's not too bad. The other ones were a lot closer, though, I will admit that. So let's just head to the right. I would be doing uh, VSPR, but internet was acting up for me, so I said, screw it, I don't feel like dealing with it this time. Alright, just fly on to the right. Huzzah! Pfft, dick. 
So we're pretty much going to make a giant loop. So head down this way. And take a left. Drop down into the delicious beer. And into the beer we go. And get as much of a room as you can. We're going to open that because we can. And then fly to the left. To reveal... Boss repellent. Awesome. Alright, one more thing to go and it's on the way out. Now we could have gotten this next one earlier, but it's more convenient to do it now. If you ask me. Was it here? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you have to use your no ghost on him to damage him. As you can see, he could take a lot of punishment. And it's all just for, uh, where are you? It's all for just a weapon of war, too, and he hurts. On hard mode, I would highly recommend waiting till now. Or you'll die. And that's it. A fun little loop, and that's all we had to get. Alrighty, now we can finish out the game. So onwards to the Devil Deal. And then the pumpkin. Yeah, Mega Man X graphics here. So how tough is the pumpkin? Well, it's probably the easiest area in the game up until this point. Especially if you've played any kind of Metroid games. So let's just clear it out. Boop! Yeah, the Metroids have skulls in them, by the way. They're skull troids. I think those spikes are ripped from uh, Mega Man X or something. Graphics are straight from Contra, too. I jerk. Yeah, don't worry about your ammo. That save room up there restores it completely. Well, feel free to use all your super missiles. Hi there. Goodbye. Sometimes they do drop super missiles or boss repellent. And also, we have Legend of Zelda dungeon theme playing. It's fitting, I guess. Eh, jerk. Ah, I've been spooked. He's spooking us. And he's flashing rainbow colors. Scout would be so sad right now. Alright, with that crisis averted, let's head to the top of the shaft and kill the last spook droid. Boop! Dick. Alright, that's the final room in the game, but we don't want to head there yet. We want to head this way and get the final item of the game. Which is... Boss Repellent. And that's it. That's every item in the game. So let's do our last and final devil deal. Yes, let Samus sell her soul one more time, though there's no one to sell it to. Because she killed the devil. What a dick. Alrighty, let's get moving. Alrighty, open up the door and let's get ready to fight Imago from the game's title. That's gonna be the final boss, you know. Hi there, news reporter. Ah, oh, you jerk. Come on. He's actually kind of tough on hard, but not much. And that's it. And with that, we have to hurry up. Pumpkin, ant pumpkin anti-gravity engine failure. Evacuate fruit immediately. So don't waste any time and get the hell out of Dodge, unless you want to die. The escape music is really good. Ouch, we have Acid, which lets out the blood graphic, and you really thought that was going to be the final boss. You have to have Mother Brain, or the Spook Brain. Hi there, baby. How's it going? I'd recommend just using full charge shots. It's probably the most effective thing you can do. Ah, I didn't mean to fall. That's all you're going to be able to use on hard mode. Just a little more punishment and she should be dead. Bam! She's done. She got spooked. Now is the final shaft. Let's get out of here. Once I aim correctly. Now I think these guys are changed in hard mode and they're the no-ghost bugs. Alright, let's bomb that. Just keep climbing. Yeah, you kind of have to figure your way out through this place. It's not too hard. 
And if I think you're doing hard mode, it's also two minutes, not three. Ah. All right, there we go. I thought we had to do something tricky, but I forgot. We don't. Yeah, they're different on hard mode, because your screw attack doesn't kill them on hard mode. For the love of God, do not fall down that hole. It's a trick. And there's into the orange sperm. And let us leave the pumpkin. And that's it. That ends Metroid's spooky mission. I know, kind of sudden there, but whatever. Anyways, what are my thoughts on this game? Could I recommend it? Certainly. This hack is a lot of fun. It's short. And it's a good break if you need something to do. Music's pretty good. I love the custom tracks that they used. The names are fun, silly, and all that good stuff. It's a really fun hack. Some good, good work was put into this, and I would highly suggest you guys play it. Anyways, let's just enjoy the credits. I'll meet you guys at the end of the credits. Alrighty, welcome back, guys. I met you at the end of the credits. I should say this now. This is a good fair warning. What you're about to see is not for kids. So if you're not of 18 years of older, I'd highly suggest looking away. So what's our reward for getting 100% under two hours? This is what it is. Yeah, thanks, Metcons. That's not perverse at all. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this Nightmare Night Let's Play. I'll see you next spooky mission. <laughs>